Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is finally the day we've all been waiting for. We're gonna get the Banshee shifter cart running and then make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because we're gonna get the Banshee shifter cart outside. I'm gonna rip it around the driveway and really test this thing out and see what it can do. But before we get into all that, I'm gonna go ahead. I got a couple mechanical things I'm gonna change on the cart and then a couple more things I'm gonna tie up. So I'm gonna head upstairs and we'll get to work starting with the chain. All right guys, well now that the chain's all hooked up here, I'm gonna install a chain tensioner or a chain roller to kind of keep the chain tensioned. So it's a little bit loose right now, as you can see. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this on, just take a little bit of slack out of the chain and then help uh, guide it as it goes around. And I'm gonna take a bracket here and then weld that onto our engine mount and then bolt it in. All right guys, well in the last video, I went ahead and installed the fuel system and I put a return line back to the tank just as an overflow. Uh, but I guess the more research I did on this pump, I think someone actually commented about this. So if you commented, thank you, but this pump does not have enough power to need a return line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that return line out and just go directly from the pump to the float on the carburetor. Okay, so we only have a couple things left. We just need to get the cooling system hooked up and then clean up the wiring mess that we have right now. But it's actually really nice outside today, so I'm gonna move the cart out there and we'll get everything finished up. Okay, well we got all the wiring figured out and locked into place with some zip ties the best we could. You can't really hide it very well on this cart right now. Uh, but then our coolant hoses are all organized as well. And I made this little bracket here for the coil to mount it up to make sure it stays grounded. But we're all ready to get it running. We just need to add our fluids and then we can start it up. Alright guys, well we are all ready to start this cart up here. Super excited, but as you can see, the weather has gotten really crappy all of a sudden. Uh, so we're still gonna send it. I'm gonna get suited up in uh, the race suit that came with this cart here. It's pretty funny. And then uh, we'll get going on trying to start this thing up. Alright guys, well we are back outside, ready to get the cart running here. And what I'm gonna do is lift it up onto some old tires and then 
uh, take a ratchet strap and pull on the rear tire here. That should be the easiest way to get it going. I already did it a couple times inside just to prime the fuel system so things go a little bit quicker. So it is the next day. The footage you just saw was from yesterday. Um, we thought we got more footage on the GoPro, but that footage actually didn't come out. I had the GoPro facing too far down, so we didn't get any of that, but that's okay. We're gonna film some more uh, riding on the cart again today. Uh, but we did have a few issues that I'm gonna fix real quick before we get into that. Uh, so obviously I had this bolt come out and then on the exhaust, this bolt here came out. I just didn't put Loctite on it. Um, also, some of the metal got wet, so it's starting to rust just a little bit. So I'm going to put some protectant on there just to keep it from rusting until we have a chance to paint it. And then our chain tensioner, as you can see, it totally bent up out of the way. I wanted to make it with a little bit of flex just so it wouldn't be too tight on the chain, but it looks like I may have gone too loose with this and I should definitely resupport it here so the chain uh, has some more tension on it. All right guys, well we got all the issues fixed out here and we're ready to get the cart started again. Uh, we got this secured and all everything bolted down. Last time we were running it, I mean, there's not much space out here and this cart only has about an inch of ground clearance and the driveway is actually rougher than it looks. So it's hard to go too fast out here, but I'm gonna do my best. Uh, but if you guys wanna see this cart on a track, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll set a like goal for 1,000 likes. If this video hits 1,000 likes, I'll take this cart to a track here very soon. But for today, uh, I'm still gonna give it the best effort I can and really see if there's anything else we need to iron out on this cart. But from the first day, besides the chain tensioner, I was actually really happy with how everything was performing. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now. See if it starts on the first pole here today. Cold, probably not, but. It's close. Be real nice if this thing had electric start because this is kind of a pain to do every time you want to start it up it's fine every now and then but
I don't know why it's idling really fast because I have the uh, throttle as far back as I think I can get it, but I'll try and go farther back. All right, I turned back the idle as far as it will go. Um, so if it's still idling fast, I'm gonna guess I do actually need the return line to the tank because it might be overflowing the float and then too much fuel is getting into the engine. So but we're gonna try it one more time with the idle turned down all the way to see if that settles it down. Thing's sketchy. Definitely need to get it on some dry ground to really test it out. But this thing is fun, man. Oh my goodness. Definitely need to get this to the track to see what it can do. But overall, like it was doing pretty well out there for uh first and second time out, it did really good. Uh just couldn't get any traction to get this thing up to speed. It just wanted to spin the tires and drift, but it's a ton of fun definitely gonna have to do some more modifications to this thing uh just move that the seat right now is just too much to the left to uh, work with where the steering wheel is so i'll have to move the steering wheel over a bit it, it still works but definitely not uh super comfortable if you're going to be out there for 30 plus minutes on the track really working this thing in so then after i get all the fabrication figured out have some awesome plans to uh 
really make this thing look awesome and then really soup up this engine and have it perform really well so super excited to see what this thing could do on the track all right guys well that's going to be it for today's video hopefully the footage did justice for just how fun but also sketchy this cart really is and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see the cart at the track and really could see what it could do in dry weather also uh, this series is far from over so make sure you're subscribed to the channel we got a ton of stuff coming on this cart and other series as well i'll see you guys next time